for watching my video. My name is Mr. Taswanike. In today's video tutorial, we will be discussing on general and basic operation of all transistors. All transistors, as I mean, is both the bipolar transistor and the FET transistor. And in bipolar transistor, we have PNP and the MPN. And uh, in terms of uh, feed inter transistor, we also have metal semiconductor feed inter transistor, and we also have a junction feed inter transistor. So we'll be discussing generally their functions so that uh, you will know the basic operation of all transistors. But before we proceed on that, Please, I would like to say if you like my video, subscribe to my channel, comment, like, and share. Thank you once again for watching. So, in that case, uh, just as I say, that uh, our topic today is general and basic operation of all transistors, which I have already mentioned the transistors. And uh, transistors are the most important semiconductor active devices. Remember that transistor is among of the metal semiconductor is under active device because in any electronic uh, component we have um, active and uh, passive. So transistor fall under active device. So in that case for almost all the electronic circuits you can also see transistor in any of the electronic circuits, even if it's in your phantom television and the, system, and the system being um, your laptop or desktop and also your cell phone. It could be on, under a surface mounted uh, transistor. They are all there doing their various functions in, in the electronics gadgets that you are using. So in that case, that is to tell you how important uh, transistor is in every electronics gadget that uh, you are using and listening, um, hearing my voice as well. So it is very important for you to know that, for you to know that transistor, it has a major role to play. So in that case, they are used as electronic switches and also amplifier ATC. That is the basic aspect of the um, transistor. All transistors are used in switches and also in amplifier. So in that case, in circuit, in circuit, transistor may be MPN, PMP, field inter transistor, which I just made mention the types as well. Previously, I say TA inter transistor, which means uh, junction field inter transistor, and also metal or the semiconductor field inter transistor, which is called Bonstein. So these are the all the transistors that we have in uh, in uh, in transistor rooms. But there are other ones. There are other ones which are also very important, but these are the ones that, that a lot of people, including the company, use as well. Don't misunderstand what I say. There are other ones as well, but these are the most important one, uh, aspect of transistor. Not that other ones are not important, but there are also these ones that I just mentioned are also important. So in that case, these are the things that we are going to discuss. Those the basic uh, operation of it. So let's go to which have different functions. They all have different functions in electronic circuit for proper working of uh, of the circuit. For proper working in electronic circuit, it means that it is necessary to to bias the transistor. Biasing transistor it simply means using the resistor network for you to bias a um, uh, transistor is it simply means using resistors or resistor network so that is to tell you on how to
bias transistor using resistor network. So in that case, operating point is the is the point on the output characteristics that shows the connector emitter voltage and and the connector current with no input signal. So I believe that I will also give more light on what I just said now. I say operating point is the point on the output characteristic that shows the connector emitter voltage and the connector current with no input signal. The operating point is also known as the bias point or you can also call it view point or quiescent point. It is called quiescent point. So in that case, I also want you to understand what I just said now. The operating point is the point on the output characteristic. You know what output where when current is uh, let's say I am just let me use what we eat as an example. When we are hungry definitely our our hands and our eyes and everything is our uh, is our aim. so we take food straight to our mouth and we eat it, we swallow it. So in the next let's say six to seven hours we will be having feelings of going to defecate at the poor toilet. Definitely bringing out those things on our bringing out the those pieces on our bonbon or in our hand is simply means that it's an outcome of the outcome of what we have ate for eight hours ago or seven hours ago as the case may be. So that is what I am what I mean by the output. So the so the operating point is the is the point on the output characteristic that shows the connector connector emitter i want to use a connector emitter connector emitter is representing our bonbon or our anus where the where the sheet or where the pieces is coming out of it so that is the output and in that case and in that case and the connector current with no input signal the connector current with no input signal. What I mean by that is the connector current is with no input signal. Simply means you cannot be in toilet as well eating at the same time and shitting at the same time. So I don't think that it has happened. Even if it is happening, it's not always, it's not frequently. So that is how it is. So another name of this is bias point or quiescent. Quiescent point. So biasing. Biasing is referred to provide resistors and also you also provide capacitor or supplying footage to, to provide proper operating characteristics of the transistor. So in terms of in terms of biasing, it is not just only using using resistor, you can also use capacitor or supply footage to pro to provide proper operating characteristics of the transistor that will enable the transistor during the output that it, it will know where the, the configuration of the output will be go to and discharge the voltage or current there as the case may be. So in that case, the DC, the DC simply means direct current. Direct current simply means uh, the difference between AC current being alternating current and direct current. AC current should be converted using using what we call by uh, diodes or diodes or bridge rectifier to convert from AC to DC and that is what majority of our system which is called uh, set homes and uh, the, our television sets, our pan top, our our laptop and so on and so forth. They all use DC because there are other components that does the work of converting AC to DC, and that is the work of a um, um, bridge rectifier or diode. So what I mean is, DC biasing is used to obtain DC connector current at a particular connector voltage, at a particular connector voltage. So in that case, that DC biasing is used to obtain the DC connector current at a particular at a particular connector voltage. The value of this voltage and current are 
are expressed in terms of quiz point and uh, we can call it quizzing point. What I mean by that, the value of the of these simple things are expressed in quizzing point. So the value of this expressed in terms of the quizzing point. So in transistor amplifier or in transistor amplifier configuration, the IC being remember what I said, the the in transistor amplifier configuration, the IC being integrated segment. The IC, the maximum is the maximum current that can flow through the transistor. And in terms of V, VCR being, being a voltage connector emitter maximum is the maximum voltage applied across the Device. So I want you to understand this very carefully and understandably in case of when you are asked or when you are you have had when people are discussing it, you should be able to identify to all understand what they are saying. So in that case, what I'm trying to say here is in a transistor amplifier configuration, you know, in every aspect of it, they have their specific configuration. Now in this configuration being IC, IC it has maximum. Also, it also has the minimum. So we are discussing on the maximum um, uh, and IC. So in that case, is the maximum current is the maximum current that can flow through the transistor. That is in terms of is it the maximum current that can that can that can flow through the transistor. And in terms of the voltage connector emitter. Just as I said, we are still discussing on the maximum. Is the maximum voltage applied across the device? So these are the two things. One, the maximum current is the maximum current that can flow through the grid and the transistor. Another one says is the maximum is the maximum voltage applied across the device. So both of them are current and voltage. Remember that. In terms of all these things, which I said, the MPN, PMP, and so on, the the MPN and PMP, they are current control device. Why FC and FET or JFET or MOSFET, they are voltage control device. So those are the things that you should also put in in your mind. So to work the transistor as an amplifier. A load resistance must be connected to voltage. A load resistance must be connected to connector. I repeat, to, to work the transistor as an amplifier, a load resistance must be connected to, to the connector. Biasing set the DC operating voltage and current to the level so that the AC input signal can be properly amplified by the transistor and that is the reason why it takes like that in every work in electronics and uh, you should be able to know that for you to bias a uh, transistor it involves a uh, uh, resistor and also capacitor or any voltage actor depending on if it is a um, current control device or voltage control you should be able to identify both of them and understand how they work just as I said. So in that case, we are still moving forward. I don't know if you have heard or understand what I mean by and to work the transistor as an amplifier, a load resistor must be connected to connector. A load resistor that will be connected, you know, connector is the act. So that resistor is the one that will take the current from the current or the voltage from the connector and because the that connector will give out according to the configuration of the motherboard or the circuit that the person who wants it to be configured and if you configure it and if it is 20 volts 400 volts as the case may be then that is exactly what the connector will, will give out to the resistor that is connected to so that's what I mean. So in terms of that it will the DC the DC operating voltage and current to the to the current level so that the AC input signal can be properly amplified. So when all these things have had been taken in 
place based on what you are to view definitely uh, the the AC voltage will be amplified correctly. And remember that even if you are not seeing those things, you can also use their meter or uh, testing equipment to confirm if what I'm saying it is true or false. But it is what I always work with every now and then. So in that case, the correct the correct biasing point is somewhere between the full on state or the full off state. That is in terms of the biasing point. It is somewhere between full on state or full off state. All depending on the transistor in which you are using. And remember, the central point is the is the what quiescent point. The central point is the is the quiescent point. And if the transistor is properly biased, the quiescent point will be the central operating point of the transistor. That is, if it is properly biased according to the configuration of the motherboard. All this thing that I'm saying right now, it is also happening in your system. As you are hearing my voice, in any kind of electronics agent that you are using, that is how it works. Before you are seeing it, seeing what you are watching or hearing my voice and so on and so forth, these are the things that the so-called company owner has been configured for that specific and take use or motherboard that you are using. So this helps the output current to increase and decrease as the input signal swing through the complete cycle. These are the these configurations now that I just said, which you can use resistor network or or capacitor or any other voltage appliances. It helps once the thing has been configured properly. It also helps to increase or also reduce voltage as the case may be. So in that case, for for setting the current for setting the correct quiescent point of the transistor, a connector a connector resistor is used to set the connector current to a constant and steady value without any signal in the case. So that is what I'm trying to say here is in terms of uh, correcting or to correct the quiz being the quizzing point of the transistor, a connector resistor is used. Connector resistor is used. If the re re resistor is not available, you can also use connector capacitor but depending on what you are about to do it is you can use connector resistor to set the connector current to a constant and a steady value without any signal in the base you know the base is where the, the so-called uh, uh, signal will start coming from before this to to connector and, and uh, um, from emitter to connector as the case may be. So that is what I mean by that. So in that case, it simply means that it will not be on any electrical or any uh, uh, any electric uh, electrical implant. It is neutral so that you know exact configuration that you are doing. At the end, you see the exact result that you are expecting. So in that case, this this steady DC operating point is set by the value of the supply voltage and the value of the base bias biasing resistor. So what do I mean by the steady DC operating point is set by the value of the applied voltage. The value of the applied voltage simply means depending on the specification, each of the motherboard they have their own specification. They have the motherboard has been built from single to from single segment to to combination of segment from combination of segment it becomes a larger segment from there, depending on how or whosoever that is executing it, how they want it to be to work. As long as it's working, definitely that is their own schematic diagram. So that is very important for you to also know. It. So the value depending on the output and the input that you are looking at of that particular time that you want to do it, because the output and the input to determine the kind of LN, the kind of component, the ranges and the value that you will use in configuring it properly. So in that case, 
base bias resistors are used in all the three transistor configurations. Base bias transistor are used in all the three transistor configuration like common base, common connector, and common emitter configuration. So these are the things that you should be able to understand what I am saying once I once I'm talking of the general and basic operation of all transistors. So and these are the things that you should also put in mind in case of necessity how it works, which I I have already given you all the necessary things that it require for you to for you to understand what I am saying. I believe that this video makes sense to you. Please if you like my music, you can also sus subscribe to my channel, comment, like and share. Thank you once again for watching my video. See you next week.